Hi everybody, it's Mino. Welcome back to my channel, or if this is the very first video that you're seeing of me, then welcome to my channel. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button down below if you didn't already. I post every day except for Tuesday and Friday afternoon sometimes, and today in this video I'm going to talk about um, a story about how someone took too long to eat their lunch and we didn't have enough time to do our activity at our library. So this is a story just to let you guys know that if you're given a certain time period frame to a certain um, time period to eat your lunch, it's good to eat it when you're given that time period instead of waiting a really long time and making everyone else wait for you. It's not really fair, especially if in your especially if you're in a big group of people and these people have places they need to go, places they need to be. Be it's not fair to take up everyone else's time just because you want to take a long time to eat your food. And I'm going to get started and I hope you guys learn some consideration from this video. Here we go. So this all started about 5 years ago. I was going to a local library to do some education with some of my friends. So it was, I think it was like four people because we had, it was five people because we had four in the group. It was me, two of my friends, and then we had um, a girl. I'm just going to call her slow because she was very slow eating her food. And we had a supervisor. So we were going to the library to do some, because we were in a program. Um, we were going to a library to do a group of, to do some educational activities. And so we go to a local library that has a cafe and we go in there so we can eat our food. And we all pull out our lunches right away and we start eating our food. food. And then we have Slo, who is just sitting and not doing anything. She doesn't even touch her food. Food and the supervisor, who kind of was not really feeling well that day, um, politely tells Slo she needs to eat her lunch. And Slo does not touch her food. She looks like she's falling asleep, and she's not listening to the supervisor. And the supervisor's kind of seems you can tell the supervisor's kind of irritated by the tone of her voice, but she's being very patient with Slo. And everybody just continues to eat their food. And by the time everyone else is done, Slo has not even touched her food. And the supervisor is finally just irritated because we were sitting and the supervisor is starting to get irritated and she politely tells Slo, you need to eat your food. But Slo does not listen to the supervisor. And we sit there for five more minutes and finally Sl the supervisor tells Slo she needs to put her food away. So Slo puts her food away and she hasn't even touched it or touched it at all. And as we're getting ready to go into the library, Slo is kind of like not very happy. She starts complaining, I didn't get to eat my lunch. And we were like, hello. And I didn't say this in my head, this, but I thought this in my head. I was like, hello, you had 30 minutes to eat your food and you just chose to sit and stare at it for 30 minutes. And the supervisor does just tells Slo that that's not the her pro this that's not my problem you should have eaten your food when i told you to and slow finally just kept quiet after that and we literally go into the library and we sit down we do our education educational activities and we just decide to not um to just forget about that and here yeah, that and as we're doing our activities, we just totally just are so focused that we um, don't have any issues with slow at then. And then, as then a couple hours later, as we're leaving the library, we decided to take a quick trip to Target because it was a hot day and some people needed to get water. And we grabbed the water from the dollar section because I think they had water in the dollar section. I can't. No, they didn't have water in the dollar section, but they had water bottles um that you could buy and it was a really hot day and we all forgot to bring water with us so we decided to stop into target because we had some extra time and we grabbed some water bottles and we're getting ready to leave to go catch our bus and one of my friends is not moving very quickly which is totally fine fine and as we're getting ready my friend's not moving very quickly we're getting ready to leave 
to go catch our bus. And Slow finally tells my friend to hurry up. She goes, hurry up. And I'm like, why are you telling her to hurry up when you took almost an hour to eat your food? Food. And I just didn't say this, but I thought in my head because I thought that was super rude that Slow rushed my friend because she was getting irritated of waiting for my friend because my friend literally was taking a while. But it was totally okay because I was being okay, but... Um, Slow literally was getting impatient because we had to catch a bus and the supervisors t tell Slow, you need to stop. Everybody took, you, you kept everyone else waiting for your food. Why can't she, can't she move Slow, blah, 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 blah. And afterwards, Slow just kept quiet because she definitely learned not to rub in, in it to my other friend and tell her to hurry up when she, when Slow took almost an hour to eat her food. Food. So afterwards, we get on the bus and then we're just quiet for the rest of the day because we had kind of a rough day that day. That day, and then after everyone else gets off, I just head home. So, home, and I just literally couldn't wait to go home because it was a really rough day that day. So, the moral of the story is if you're get when you have a chance to eat your food, it's important to eat it at the chance you have to eat your food rather than wait till the last minute to finish your food because it if you're on a time frame it's never good to wait till like take up the whole time when time to just sit and not touch your food when you have so much time to eat your food so it's good to eat your food right when you have the time to eat your food food and also if someone else is walking slow when you're walking slow it's not good to rub it in and it's kind of rude and super irritating Hitting. So if someone else is walking slow because you were moving slow, you shouldn't, when you were moving slow and you are getting irritated, don't say anything because, because um, then you're just going to be, end up being the bully when you're, even though you moved slow. So it's not really fair to pick on someone else when you move slow yourself. So, so always just be mindful of other people. So that was my frustrating library story. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I post every day except for Tuesday and Friday afternoon sometimes, and I'll see you in another video soon. Bye.